recommendation by the IEBC to revisit a window period allowing for migration. Members of the Parliamentary Justice and Legal Affairs Committee are divided on the matter after receiving submissions from various entities on the Elections Amendment Bill 2022. Our reporter Grace Nganga explains. ...to the Political Parties Act. Debate sparked at a parliamentary committee Tuesday on whether the timeline on party hoping should be harmonized to ensure equality in application of nomination timelines ahead of the August 9 general election. Members of parliament are now considering a fresh proposal to lock party primary losers from running as independent candidates in what could shatter political dreams of hundreds of hopefuls who had held recommendations by the Registrar of Political Parties after it provided that window. IBC now argues that this is for the sake of political party discipline. To ensure that there is no discrimination and that there is equality of treatment, we are proposing to amend section 28 to reduce the 120 days within which political parties need to submit their party membership lists and reduce it to 90 so that it is in line with the timelines for one to become an independent candidate and there is no window for a person who loses in a party nomination exercise to then become an independent candidate. It denies a person the opportunity to move from one party to another, but affords a person an opportunity to move from one party to be an independent candidate. Although some members of the committee backed the proposal to adjust the timelines to eliminate the 10-day window period that allows losers to register as independent candidates, others opposed it, arguing that it was infringing on the rights of the aspirants. If then the person is a party candidate, uh, it would then be double uh, advantage that he tastes the benefit of being in the party, then finds that it is sour, and then now goes now to test his democratic uh, uh, constitutional right of being an independent. Uh, and so uh, this, 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 this law was to bridge that gap. Both for political candidate and independent candidate should be the same. Why? Because somebody decides to become a political party candidate. Then let him stick there. If he wants to move from one party or an, to another, let him do within that time frame. And at the same time, for the independent candidate, let the person decide from the start. I remember a few members of the committee said yes, but a huge majority of members said no. You cannot restrain the, the right of a member, a, a Kenyan, to remove himself from a party. You can stand from joining another party, but you can't stop him from remove, removing himself from one party and becoming independent. And I thought, we settled that. Why is it coming up again now? Should the submission be considered and amendments made and approved, all hopefuls drawn from political parties and those seeking political seats as independent candidates will all be subjected to the same deadline. We are proposing to amend Section 28 to reduce the 120 days within which political parties need to submit their party membership lists and reduce it to 90 so that it is in line with the timelines for one to become an independent candidate and there is no window for a person who loses in a party nomination exercise to then become an independent candidate. Mr. Chairman, the primaries will take place this April. Grace Nganga Kete News, Nairobi. Moving on, Deputy President William Ruto will be, the run, will be running for president in the August general election after he was successfully endorsed by UDA party delegates at Kasarani Gymnasium. This meeting once again brought to the fore the frosty relationship between Ruto and his boss, President Uhuru Kenyatta. Now, Ruto's allies chanting betrayal slogans, accusing the president and ODM leader Rilo Dinga of weaponizing state agencies to fight political wars. And as our senior political affairs reporter Jeff Kirui explains, Ruto emboldened by the endorsement